Hello everybody, this is Sonia, I'm in Australia and I've come on here now today because I wanted to show you what I've been doing. I was watching um, Tina, who's Shabby Debbie Judah, and she comes up with some good things. Um, she got this idea though from another lady and it's on her, I'll put up the link to her channel and then you can have a look and see but other people have done these sort of things before um, I've just been I've got glue everywhere because I've just been doing another video because I really want to do a few because I've got to have I've got to do some tidying in this room tomorrow <coughs> so I want to make up a few so <coughs> they were making they were making um, oh, what was that lady's name now oh. actually anyway they were doing stamps they were using stamps on fabric and making these stamp embellishments. There's a collar bear stamp and he's on some lace and there's a piece of fabric under there. Okay, and she was doing, a lady was doing a lot that were in, um, for, for, that looked a lot more like um, gypsy style. I wish I could see, show you these without me having to worry about leaning under the, that's the wrong way, this way here leaning under the camera. Um, so this is oh, be good if I could see it. Sorry about this. Now um so of which way I want to go that way. So I, I, I decided I'll have a go because I thought they were doing them with vintage with the vintage stamp and probably um, Diff they're not different to mine because I didn't want to copy theirs. It's the idea of using the stamp that I really like, though. See, because you need to put them on something, don't you? But anyway, so these are three that I made with the idea of that, and then I decided I'd do some more um, sort of gypsy style ones. So I did these. I do love these. They are fluffy. <laughs> oh my, they are fluffy. And oh, I do love them. I haven't got a thing on that one yet, like a, a hanging down thing, but I will have um, a pin in that. And they beaut. I think I do love them. They are really nice. Um, I went through my stamps and found a few that I think would look all right. So I'm going to show you how I did these. Um, you know, it's my take on them anyway. So there's probably not anything like the other ladies have been done, but this is my take on it. So I'm just going to cut a piece of fabric. Now, on these ones here, I think I put a piece of card behind that. And that depends on yourself whether you want it to be held on, whether you want it to be sturdy like that. But when, when these here dried, when I found, uh, they haven't got any card behind them. And they've just got um, the stamp and the sari silk behind them. Uh, and there's a calico on the back of that one and there's a piece of just floral fabric on the back of that one so it just depends on yourself I suppose that one there hasn't got anything any stiff card on it and neither is that one only that one there I put card on so it's, a, it's up to you whether you start off with a piece of card but then you sort of need just to get something really nice in the way of a stamp and because I've got um, this one here on there look at that the same thing but it doesn't matter I like them I like them stamps and then I've got some here a bit of sari silk I have a truckload of it somewhere but oh, well I do know where but I just want to get a piece off of this today to start with and I've put that there piece on that one I don't know if I can get a piece off this without wrecking too much hang on we'll go around this way here here's a green bit and a pink there's a piece of pink and a bit of green. Okay, so I'm going to put that behind there. Maybe not that long. And then I'm going to get something else. Let me see. I've got that little bag of things in here. You know how you have it uh, it's all with you. And then, and here you go. Here's some more in a bag here. And I might just use, I don't know if I did red. I thought I had a bit of a pinkish colour. That's not, it's, it's red, that's not real. So I've got these, these were gifted to me by a friend a while back there, and I haven't, I've got these stuff and I haven't, I don't use it, and as soon as I see something that's going to use up some of my things, I thought, oh good, I'll have a go at that. Isn't it nice how it's all fluffy? This is, um, you can actually buy these bags of this um, on the internet, uh, eBay I think you get them it's like little 
cutoffs of the sari silk and that piece there I'm going to put here maybe not it probably needs to have a bit more cut off that but we'll set it together just to see what it's looking like right not too bad it might take a bit off the end of this and I'm cutting this with me fairly big old scissors <clears throat> this one's very fluffy isn't it this one I'm putting on here very fluffy and this has already been it's already stiff because I just stuck to something else but I'm recycling it because I didn't want it where I had it so I'm going to put it on there <clears throat> I think this is what I'm going to do so let's have a go we're going to put this it's covered in everything else besides <laughs> send everything flying across the table now have some glue on this and it doesn't really matter I don't think if you put the whole thing down um, you know because you want it to to have a bit of dimension you know so we just if you stick it down just in the middle part there you've got all this other frilly might be over frilly I don't know if you think it's over frilly well you know just <laughs> take a bit off I guess um, I'm having a bit of trouble with these, these bits here. I'm not real keen on those bits there. I'm going to cut them out of there. There's bits of fabric here. i cut them out of there. So this is my favourite to do, my embellishments. You probably realise that I'm always doing this sort of thing, but I just enjoy it because um, doing big projects and projects is not an easy thing to do all the time. You need put you need stuff to put on it. You need your things to put on whatever you're doing, and you've got to make them sometime. And I see people on there, and they've got heaps of stuff ready to go when they're doing things. <laughs> Sonia's got nothing ready to go, and that's not working, is it? When something's failing you like that, you need to put it in the you know in the too hard basket. That piece, it's not looking good at all, really. That's nice, isn't it? Should I cut that off there? Okay, so let's try and get a bit of the green here off this. It might make a bit of a difference. We'll see how that goes. Now, you, you're going to lose, if you're cutting through anything like sequences, of course you're going to lose some of them. But once you get the glue on the back, it shouldn't lose too many. You shouldn't. It's <laughs> just to see what happens, eh? should not lose too many. Yes. I think I need something else on this. This is not this is not um, doing the right sort of. It's good. I like that bit. I don't mind it, but it needs another little something. You know, like mm, I don't know another colour. Another colour maybe. Give it a bit more something something. Okay. Well, we'll cut a bit off this. I don't know if I can get it unrolled though. It's all rolled up really in a ball here. Look. I suppose when they die of it or whatever they do, it is um, bound to have this sort of thing happen to it, I guess. It's really rolled up into it. Can get it undone. Come on, you can do this. It's going to come out. It's going to open up here. Come on. Here we go. Any minute now. Right. Now, I should have really started timing this because I didn't want to... Um, run out of time on the thing on the thing and put that on there oh dear that's better like it's got a lot of dimension and, and everything look at that <coughs> I'll show you it anyway when I finish getting it stuck down here I've got a big wallop and piece of glue here <coughs> it should unroll it a bit on the glue here we go Maybe the different stamp too might be a, a thing. Maybe I need a different stamp. I'll try and get that out flat if I can. The glue's not working real smartly, is it? I have great determination. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> if I put that that way and this this way, 
we should get a bit of each no, that's not going to work this way then so I'm going to cut that bit off the bottom you don't need that there that's, that's losing everything for you you don't want to put it's not with nothing on it let's see now put this on here to the side a bit I like that now I do like that now okay now I hope I haven't I think I've only been on here for 10 minutes because now I'm going to go and show you how I'm going to make the dangly bit that I'm going to put on the side because I have got no dangly bits ready for these things and I should have because I do have the I do have some things that I should be using for it this is good you don't have to worry about being straight or anything do you <laughs> just pile it on there okay if you go and watch Tina though she will direct you to, to this other lady that I seen I went and watched her channel um, for a minute to see what she you know she was doing what she, ones that she done totally different all ours are because that's just the way it is everybody crafts different see now I think I've got too much hanging down the bottom of this white one and cream with this piece of floral that I've got on the back I'm not happy to have all that down there I'm going to cut a bit off you probably need a little bit just for the just for, to take away the I don't know <laughs> to turn it down a different way or something so there we go so now I've got that one so now I have those three like that in the with the, all the sari silk on them all the, all the sari silk but some sari silk on them ones and these ones here have got that's got sari silk on it too that one so is that okay so just put a piece of lace on that one which you can do like put a piece nice piece of lace on and then you know do whatever you want to put on yours and, and it's just really really easy really easy and really simple to do and I do like these little things here and I have been trying to coax the glue down in that bottle that I've got that tiny bottle with a tiny little end on it and it won't come out I have been trying and trying and it will not come out I'm going to put this on here Oh, I'm gonna have to get one of those things. You can get one of them things that you push your bead off, push your thing that you're tr trimming off the end, and it'll sit next to whatever you're doing. Look at this, these are two little ones. You've got no idea what I'm talking about, have you? If you were a person that did jewelry, that you would <clears throat> you know a bit about it, um, you can buy these like sticky stick things that you put your bead onto and you push it off and it goes onto you, whatever you're making. You've got to put glue down or something first, but you don't get stuck to your fingers or everything else. <laughs> and you can just put this on here. And I don't even know if I've got any glue under where I'm going to put it. Come on, I suppose I'll find out when it falls off, won't I? I hope it doesn't. Well, so you can put some of those little bits of bling on because that's really cute, isn't it? A bit, a bit of bling. But I, li I like to, to add, add that bit as well. So just get a mouthful of drink here. Okay. Now, let me see. Oh, goodness me, I keep looking at stuff. In <laughs> the box is all surrounding me. I'm trying to get the glue off my fingers. Okay, so these are here what am I doing here let me mark this up again okay I think these turned out really cool don't you I hope you like them anyway everybody's got their own thing but that's my take on that so I'm going to just make now something to put on them because um, I have a little tiny dangle thing on that pin right there's other things that I did in the past that I put on um, a few beads and things like that, you know, because you need to put on some things like that sometimes. So I'm going to put these down in here so I can find them. And I will be able to, okay. So they're, they're quite easy to do. Now, I've got um, <laughs> a few bits and pieces in this container here. <laughs> 
that I picked out this morning because I wanted to go and, and when I did that of course I found lots of other things and it led me off on a journey to, to other places um, so I've got a, a to make some sort of dangly down things okay and this piece here is really nice I've got, just a bit of, uh, I've got some nice leaves and I have these here bits that I really like um, I've got them in two different pots here because I think I was going to use these ones as flower centers too as well when I do some flowers after uh, another, another time um, so I've got these bits here all of jewelry you know old pieces of broken jewelry I love so this has got dangly down bits on it um, most of this has this, these, these are awesome I'll get, get into that after there's a green lot I made this mushroom see isn't it cool so that's stump work that's called I think I showed you how to do one of those I don't know that was fun I'll put him there so I don't lose him again I he's doing this um, but there's everything in here isn't there this is neat now this is um, stuff that you buy on a, on a you know <laughs> on ribbon and I'll just um, give you a little idea of how doing something like that how you're going to use up your you know your bits and pieces that you pick up um, because I do get a lot of old jewellery especially earrings are good because they have dangly down bits on them and the chain pieces of course and there's this one here that I really like I think something that cost, got, cost me a dollar it might be this thing here this has got some really neat stuff in it this is something like from um, an oriental thing and it's quite heavy actually um, but I'm going to be taking those off there those little bits eventually one day there's another earring it's got a lot of bits hanging on it I just do like all the bits hanging down this bit of photo monty that's what um, <laughs> Tina calls that and it is it's it's fake diamond okay that's what that stands for I think she said somebody asked her one day what photo de monte was how they where they buy that and she she had to tell them that that was what it was actually she was talking referring to these are nice they're all on a string together this is nice these are necklaces that I've bought we have got bits on them that I can take some bits off to work with okay and I have a that one oh, there's just so many isn't there really yes well I'll have to put some of these into something as um <laughs> we'll see what happens we'll see what I can do because I just uh, and all these beads that I've picked up to, for next to nothing people like these beads some of these actually are real which is really weird because I bought them at Vinnie's for a few dollars and the lady said they're real I said well yeah I know <laughs> I never really wanted any myself um I don't know which ones are not as real I don't know there is somewhere I got them here somewhere I'm just trying to fish out some things that I want to use to show you how to do this I'll worry about that later it's not important anyway um so let me see well see these are really good to, to get aren't they and these ones here are brilliant absolutely brilliant i do like these <coughs> because see people must have worn them <laughs> it's been heavy hey and all you got to do is just unhook that there and take that off there and you've got a um a trim thing now I've got some tiny weeny little well I did have come on did that really run away from me while well, I wasn't looking I did have some tiny weeny little things there oh really Sonia <laughs> okay let's not panic let's nobody panic now which one of these I'm here nobody panic I've got this one I just made I don't think I'll put that on there because that's a bit heavy, okay? But all you have to do then is hook that through any piece of lace or something that you've got if you want to do that. If you want to put that onto to something, something, something. Oh, I've got here, look, there's a piece of material with a bit of stuff. And all you've got to do is hook it through. You don't even have to get fancy about it or anything. Well, 
I think I closed it up a bit, did I? And I feel really bad here because I got I've just been drinking that Coke stuff and I Pepsi or whatever it was. Okay, just squeeze on there, please. I've just told everybody how easy this was going to be. Look at me getting the right pair of pliers. <laughs> okay. Squeeze it on there. So you could put these down the side of your book too, couldn't you? You know, you could put journals or anything. Come on. It's not going to close. It just doesn't want to hang on there, okay? But it will if you close that up all the way, okay? It'll close up when I get these pliers by Jesus. <laughs> I'll make sure it does. I'll close it myself, I will. Must be aiming in the right place or something. What's going on here? We had rain. We had rain yesterday and last night. Jeez, that was good. Really good. Okay, I got it on there. Now I probably won't be able to get it off without wrecking everything, but you know what? I'll probably stay on there and go on to something else. I don't know, but that's how you would hang it on, so it's quite easy, really. So let's get myself a piece for these ones. Let's get something to put on the red here. Look at this. This is really neat. There's just little bits hanging on there. Little pieces of red stuff. So I should be able to just hang that up there, shouldn't I? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, we said that about the last piece too, didn't we? Do I have to make a hole? Well, make a hole. You can make. You can do that. Make a hole. <coughs> Crop it all. It made its way back into me room. I'll make a hole here. It was just going through um, fabric. But that's not going to work, Sonia, because you'll need a ring now to put that through because it'll, it'll hook up onto there. Well, it might come back on. What can I do with that now? Oh dear. Let me see. Well, dear, I had this plan, didn't I? This part. I wonder how I put the other on there. I think I hooked it around the the lace. I really do. I think I look, hooked it around the lace. I'm going to have to put a um, a pin. Okay. See, it wasn't that hard after all, Sonia. A bob pin through there. Wrong colour, but for the, for purposes of today's video, we will just. Put that on there like so. Okay, we'll do it up in a minute when I get it around. Okay, and then we can put this. Actually, I'm, first I'm going to have to put this thing on, am I? So let's not get too excited here. Is that stuck? Hey, okay. righto. <coughs> now, we turn this around here like that, and we're going to have to put it on. So when you're putting something through there, you need to put it on first, then go through the hole, and then clip the pin on. I don't know, sometimes, you know, things don't come to, to you till it's, <laughs> you know, you're trying to do it the wrong way, and then it does. See, oh, that looks really cool, and it's fastened on there with the, it's not going to come off there, unless somebody's really pulling it on it and trying to wreck it. So that works really well, doesn't it? What else have I got here? These ones here, they've only one, got one single thing on them, but that's okay just to hang one little tiny thing down, isn't it? Yeah, and these ones here have got um, on this thing here, which is like a some sort of medallion or something. I don't know what these are called, but actually they're quite plentiful roundabouts. I'm getting really um, upset about the fact that they're not hardly got any more books in, in my um, thrift shops anymore. The only things you can get now are, are things to do with reading. <laughs> no, that's not the bad thing, but oh, I want ones to do that I can use for crafting and that. Like, and they they throw them. They must throw them away because they would have they would have about twenty maybe books on. Um, doing pictures of 
flowers and things. And, they, and that's not many. And, and same with, um, oh, they've got truckloads of cooking books and nobody wants to do that anymore, I suppose. I don't know. But they just can't just keep throwing them out because I, I'm sure they are because they're very, they're really silly, these people in these shops. And I'm sorry if you're here listening to me and, I, and I'm saying that, but you're putting things in the garbage bin that people would recycle because they want to look they want it to be their look that they have in their store, which is so silly, isn't it? You know, like, you, you want to look like you're a, bo a, a, a boutique. Really? <laughs> I mean, we want to go and shop there. Of course we do. But we want to be able to find the things that we want, the old... We will recycle all that old stuff, the fabric and the material, uh, the, the books and things like that. We'll recycle it all. I'll throw it in the bin. It's so, so wasteful, isn't it? And you ask for them things and they think that you, you're stupid or something. <laughs> you know, not stupid, but well, it's, it's ridiculous. I used to go to them shops and there was so much fun. And now, you look in the front of one of them stores and you'd swear it was a, a what's the name place where, oh, I don't know. But it's not the same. It's just not the same at all. Make them look like they're boutiques. Is that so they can charge more money? Well, that's a bit silly. That's how they were supposed to be there for the people that were poor. They're supposed to be there to help the poor. <laughs> Here's me going off again. I'm sorry. Forgive me for my my opinions, but, you know, sometimes your things just get you... What was this on? I don't know, but it looks really flash, doesn't it? Oh, well. Anyway, so I've tied those two together while I was waffling on there. And I'll probably break some of this apart because this would be cool. And these, um, oh dear, now I've got an, um, probably said too, too much. I don't think I have. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that agree with me. I was, um, we, we can't get anything old, you know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, well, up at the, up at the can assist place where I go up the showground, yes, they do, they do sell. But they're going to run out too because people are throwing them away. People are not thinking about this thing, the recycling thing. People want to fix the um, world and that. These, but they keep throwing out stuff. Everything's just, especially books and things. It's really not good. I, I believe that you're supposed to have books in your life. Really, I always love books. I always have. They've got knowledge in them, haven't they? They're really cool. Now, where's where's the one with the end? I need an ended one on the, the piece on the end of it so I can put it onto something over here that I've got behind me because I'll find one of those things and fasten this on here I hope I'll hook that on the bottom because you want something on the bottom oops you want something on the bottom that um it's on there cozy like you know so it looks f like finished at the end instead of having another another loop on it and I've got another I've got another one of these things here I haven't fixed haven't I this one here I can put that down on there too eh don't you reckon I'll get another pin this one's blue that's okay blue will work won't it yep blue will look good I'll make a hole now you don't need to have one of these to make a hole you can do a hole with a pin with a, a needle or um, something uh, one of those pokey tools of some sort. Out there, you. Come on. Uh, everything gets caught in this, and it really does. I'm not just saying. Everything gets caught in it, and it's stuck in there. <sighs> it's fluffy. And yeah, we got it. Now we got it. Right, so I'm going to put this on here. I, don't, I might just go through the corner and stamp it. It would not matter. So I'll add that thing first. Then we'll add this to here, and then we'll put the closure on, and there we go. We've got one of those now. So I've been having a bit of fun, and I had a bit of a yarn to you, didn't I, about doing that. Okay, so that's what I've been up to. <laughs> There's always something I've been up to, isn't there? Um, <laughs> I have so many things that I'm doing and working on, it's just, you know, 
it's good and it's fun and I don't know what else to show you at the moment. Um, I do know that I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to be putting these things up in my shop. These are... Um, things that I... I got the idea of Diane. She sent me these things that have fabric on them. So, tag things. Well, these are actually pieces of card off... Uh, a book and they're pretty I've just cut them in a bit of a shape and I'm not saying that they're perfect or anything and I've um, put them in and put I've rolled up half a metre each of this this is the burlap and I've got two of these I'm not going to put them in there today because I want to put them with other things right? because there's not going to be enough things just to put up one lot, you know, you need to put a I'll put a couple of things in a, in a sort of little kit thing, okay um, and these here uh, oh gee, look at that, that goes really good with that it's just <laughs> work with them colours, these are a metre of each of these, there's a metre of uh, lace, fabric and more or less, this fabric is absolutely beautiful, it's cotton and it's thin, it's just a thing, it really is I have got more and more and more so I want to do more but what I was actually going to show you these first was because how I in, how I fastened them. I actually put a stitch through there because and tied it because sticking it down with sticky tape does not work. Sticking a pin in it gets stuck in the person. This way you've got a little piece of thread through it. All you have to do is undo that, which is not even knotted twice as only once, and then take off what you want to use. Okay, and then just sew back on. So that's what I did with these as well. I thought that was really really natty idea okay so well thank you everybody for watching and i hope you all have a lovely day um i didn't show you how you get that off but it's quite easy really if you don't you've got this first part here and you've got to just be careful that when you take it off you don't um pull these beads out no so i mean get hold of this bit here if i can yes but i don't know if this will work because it is very very tight but so you don't have to re-thread them or while they're threaded on there you can push your needle down there with another piece of cotton on it and then cut this old one off okay it will work but then that's a good dangly down bit isn't it to put on your for your dangly down bits these are the um things i did this morning they're dry did it come off that one? Of course it would be. Might have to just give them a bit of a do around with something, a bit of sandpaper or something. That's sort of a bit redder than what I thought it would turn out, but this is a nice pink, isn't it, that bead? And then there's the butterfly one. Yeah, it'll dry it in that good. Oops. Ain't good how that dried. And there's the buttons. There's one button, that's a, that's a mother of pearl button. And just put the serviette on that and there's another button and I left the holes in there so you could put so if you've got something that you need to have a button for you can do these any size you can just put the serviette on and this is another bead then and it's got to have those things just I'll um, just pull it off until it's right because I don't think I want to make it even you know what I mean because this one here looks really good with it just daggy <laughs> It's um, it's art, <laughs> I suppose. And see this bead here, your butt, your, your hole goes through the side of this one. So then you can put it on, on the holes here somewhere. Because there's one on the other side. Where is it? You just put push the hole through. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can't if you put that over it. Oh, why wouldn't it go through there, really? Did I put something in there? Oh, it's through the top bit. Look at that. Well, that's cool. I knew there was a hole in it, but I didn't realise it was up there. Let me cut these off with these very large scissors. I don't know what they're there for, but anyway. So your hole goes in the top part of this. So this is really cool because this can hang down. Now I've got these. <laughs> I'm running out of scissor ideas. These were actually bonsai ones that I got in a packet brand new years ago. That I bought and I've cut anything. Now, the hole goes through the side at the top. Look at that. So then you can hang that 
on something, you know. I think it needed something else on it though. I just don't know why, but I do. And this one turned out quite dark, but that's okay, because if you want something that colour, well, it's actually not too bad. Let me see if I can get it under the camera. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Look at that. Where's that camera gone? The light shine on it. It didn't turn out too bad. This one here. Oops. Where are I? Here I are. Here we are. And it's a wooden one. So you can thread that through with some fabric, with some fabric or something through that, and and use it, I don't know, make a whole heap of them and make yourself a necklace, I suppose. And the beads, see they turn, the buttons, they turned out really good. Look at that, that's cool. I think somebody sent me a button like that one time. I don't know if I keep looking at it, I can see. Isn't it amazing, you know, I, I don't actually, can, I can't actually say I know where everything is, but I do know if I got it, <laughs> if you understand. Um, because I've got so much stuff, but I can remember, now I think to myself, now I've never seen anything like that before, or I don't know anything like that, because I know whatever comes into here, I know that I have it. Very rarely do I find something in here and think, geez, I don't remember getting this, or, or I wonder where that came from, because I really do know what I have, you know? And if I got something in here and I can't find it, well, well, <laughs> I can't say what I, you know, really want to say about this. I found this yesterday. Now you got to, you got to bear with me because it's not clean because I have bought it like this because you get it in the box with everything for five dollars. Now look at that. Lots of space for bits and pieces. I have to go and take it now and clean it. Um, it comes with the dust, you see. The lady said that was free. But I bought this and a desk, oh, not a desk, a set of little shelves that are made out of really heavy card because I have tried so many times before to make myself some. And they don't last five minutes, you know, because I don't. And I bought this because I'm, and I'm going to cover it. You put your paper in. I don't know if you can see that it goes up high one end and look at that, see? And people have made these previously. This is made out of real heavy card and it's got some it's got some bits and pieces of um fluff and things on it, you know, but it's just wiping it. It's just a matter of wiping it out. And I thought this was just the thing for me because because I like some the embellishments. Might be easier if I take it and hose it out in the bathroom or something with a hose and then dry it might be easier. I think I might do that. Um, yeah, but see, if I've got so many, and this is this is a drawer thing, and I don't know how much they're worth, but I don't think they're very you know, not cheap. But anyway, so I thought, now this is hold me little bits and pieces for doing bits. Yes, don't you think that's snazzy? Just a bit of an idea there. And uh, so tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be doing some work in here. Hopefully, um, I'm doing some tidying up. I can't think of anything else that I wanted to show you to do today, but I'm sure that there's plenty for us to do. Um, I'll have to do a few more tutorials. I'll show you how to make the um, the boho beads and that that I that I did the way I did mine. Um, probably in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.